So guys, this dollar challenge video is sponsored by Traffic Rush. And so here is how I'm gonna be doing throughout this challenge. Here's how I'm gonna do this challenge. I have 15 minutes until I get to one game where I succeed to pass one kilometer on the rush traffic. So I'm gonna keep playing and playing in this 15 minutes until I reach my target. You can actually see how it's made. It's actually, like this is the background of it. So let's just get on with it. And there we go. Well, for now it's still going pretty slow. And so what can I do about that? All right, so I already made it to 100th. And I'm targeting to get it to one within this 15 minutes. And so this is how it goes. Wow, at least you got cash. This is... Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. This actually pretty suits really well. I don't know how you get that. That soapy thing or whatever that even is. Like, I guess until you run out of combo, like whenever you make an accident, like it's just no big deal at all whatsoever. And nothing even happens, like you try to change lanes and that still doesn't even count as an accent, which is so much different than when you're actually driving in the traffic. Like, this is not even real life, but if this was real life, then that would definitely count as an accident. Oh, we need to pass these guys. That felt like a puzzle. And now there's plenty of police cars, taxi cars, whatever. Some of them are going really slow. Well, I'm going pretty fast out here. I got another cash. That, it wasn't even that car, it was the keyboard. I don't know what the heck it is with my keyboard sometimes. Usually my keyboard works so much better than that. So that should have been kind of unexcusable. Here we get that cash. What? Two at the same time? Two at the same time? That made it a bit difficult to pass through this. I only made it to 0 0.05, just five hundredths. At least I got 12 cash. And I believe it comes in bucks. Yeah, it comes in bucks. It comes in dollars. There we go. I should get it. Now I have 13. Okay, well, last time was pretty tricky. Like, all of a sudden, I got into an ambulance car and a cop car. Now, okay, well, that was a near miss, wasn't it, you guys? I gotta find a lane where it just doesn't get so tricky as hell. Or I'm not driving too fast. Okay, now it's that point that you start to get really faster. You should get that combo thing. Ah, I just, there it was. There it was, that freaking combo thing. That, ah. Ah, okay, well that was fun. That was a fun journey. Oh, there we go, I get another one. Okay, now it's slowed down a bit more. Right. Oh man, that was close. We made it to 0 0.73. Okay, well that was close. All right, so as it starts to get really slow, that's what the basics of this game even is anyway. Let's get a bit more cash. I don't know what it, oh yeah, right. I believe you have to get like 100 cash because I think you can upgrade your car. And you look at the settings and you get five different cars. Like you got the blue, and I believe you can also get one in silver, one in white, and one in gray, and maybe even an asphalt car. I mean, I played asphalt before, but like, it's like a racing game. I believe it's like between eight, 10 candidates or something. Okay, I nearly missed that. Yeah, eight and 10 candidates in the racing game, and you go really fast. Like, it, I mean, the game is called asphalt. I believe it was either asphalt or asphalt eight or something like that. I don't know, asphalt. But it was asphalt, it had asphalt in its name. But that was a pretty entertaining of a game actually, so let's just try to get that combo thing even more. And the thing is, like you can only go left and right, so you can't even press the up keyboard if you want to go even faster. You could just have to deal with the way it goes when you get to a certain distance in this. Oh, I missed the cash. I wasn't even looking at the right place. How about that other time? Okay. 
I'm about to pass these guys. Strangers, don't even get up with me, folks. Wow, it just ran out. It just ran out. Whatever, let's just... Yeah, like, I believe he has to have a certain number of cash to even upgrade that. But this is the classic, like, this is without even having upgraded anything to a higher quality. Or if you're using a power-up and if it's timed, then, like, with a longer timer, like, when you update the thing, like, when you update your car with a certain number of cash, with a certain number of dollars in your cash, then, like, I believe it can go much faster and it'd be much easier to collect the power-ups more and more often and use them for be even a bit longer or you drive even faster so that you can get to one kilometer easily. Well, this is the point that it starts to get like a puzzle. Man, that was close. I was gonna hit the police car. I was gonna hit the police car at this spot. Wow, I was gonna get that fuel power, but even that didn't work. So, what am I gonna do with all these bushes? What am I gonna do with all these? This is... Okay, now we got another one. Like, when you're driving slower, it's so much easier to get these stuff. And the fact that it's only two lanes. Like, this is nothing really like you can pick your own world or anything. Not, not like Minecraft. Like, Minecraft can make your own random world and you can pick a random world to fight all the zombies. But this is just like a light game. Okay, at least we made it through this freaking like ambulance car and a taxi and the business car, whatever, like that. Which is more like a regular vehicle which a normal person would take. To their business i was just about to get oh it's the it's electric so it can actually go even faster than that like when you get that i mean it looks like a water bottle from its shape which is funny but it actually makes you go faster for a certain certain number of seconds like three or five maybe and it slows it down after that and then like whenever you hit into somebody then that just counts as an accident but whenever you're with the power up and you hit someone I mean, it's also considered as an accident, but it continues, like, you get to continue, like, you have much more power. You have much more power when you have the electricity thing. And there we go, I just got it. Like, just, like, three seconds and that's it. Like, just three seconds with that power. And I believe we can hit, like, three people with that. Depending on how long it really goes. Oh, we still got... This is, like beginning where all these bushes are like you can see the pattern here okay well I should have got that one all these trucks let's head right to the left for now and then head back okay so we're squiggling on the left road so let's see we're still heading on the left but the thing is like I want to head to the right okay now let's head to the right side of the now these ambulance cars are really mixing it up over here, like at least they don't change lanes either, but it just makes it really difficult for those who move right on the side, which is when it physically starts to get really puzzly. Okay, well that guy who moved all the way on the other side, oh man, I, I was doing that. I was doing something like that, otherwise I would have got that electric thing. That would boost me up a bit more. So yeah, I mean, at first you feel like you're just doing fine, and then you get some cash. Or does it really depend on like when you go further than a certain distance and... Man, like I should have kept to the left because that was so strange, there's so many people at the right. Wow. At least the engine works totally fine with it. Alright, well, looks like we don't even have to worry about the cash or unless if we really want to upgrade it. But this is a challenge, so what it really is about. I believe it's been like nine minutes already since I have started this challenge. And there's still oh, I should have took the left. I should have took the left place. Now we might even see an electric power somewhere. 
these police cars are stopping, which is gonna make it very difficult. Okay, at least that wasn't hard with this electric power. That electric power thing. Like every, I believe, every one tenth or maybe eight hundredth of a kilometer, like it really tends to show up quite a lot. But then when you get to like until 0 0.1 or something, you go really, really, really slow. Like that's the starting point of the rabbit and turtle race, for example. Still heading right. Thankfully, no ambulance cars because some of them even change their directions a lot. Yeah, that taxi driver just did. But when someone changes directions, it tends to more likely be the ambulance drivers, like that one that you just saw. Like that ambulance driver is always changing its position. Very likely, all the time, changing positions and stuff. Okay, well, I avoided the worst, but I just wanted to get that electric. It's still on the left. That electric thing is still on the left, and I don't know. Okay, well, let's just see that. I mean, again, like even pressing up on the keyboard just doesn't even do. Wow, now there's like more than one driver at the same time. And okay, thankfully I avoided that. But sometimes you get into a point when there's like, okay, well, this is when I really needed that. I, I mean, I really needed that this time. And it thankfully made it much easier. Otherwise, it would have been like a puzzle for these, for me, not for them, but for me. Whoa, now a truck is moving all the way sideways. Well, whatever. There's still this police car moving sideways, like on the left road. I'm gonna. I'm still gonna keep myself on the left. Wow, that was strange. That was strange, but... Oh my God, I was so close. I was 400 of a kilometer away. That could have been, that could have actually worked. Wow, I mean, I should just head it to the right when I got to 0 0.8. Let's just avoid that ambulance driver here, shall we? Yeah, strangers, let's keep away from you. Much easier, much easier to get away with that. Wow, electric power and the cash at the same time. How fun. Ah, oh, I could have just kept to the left. Freaking truck driver, man. Wow, even with the electric power, I cannot move to the other side when there's a barrier or something. No, what? You should have moved to the other side. What the heck was that? There's still plenty of police cars here on the left. Now there's more taxis and now, oh my God, it just gets into a mix between all these police and these taxi drivers. 
this spot on the left. So I'm still having it left in that case. Yep, guys, that was very, very, very difficult, I have to admit. It was so hard. Well, guys, I'll see you in another challenge, and hopefully I'll make that one.